Yeah, that's such a good one. Um, and I wish like I had like a handbook on how to do it. And what I would just say to people now is it like, it's a it's a hard tra tra uh, transition either way, like it's going to be hard. So like buckle up. But like, yeah. it's gonna end at some point. And it, it's like, you're gonna feel so lost. Like, you're gonna feel like, what do I do? Like, I, I th this was my whole life, everything was built in for me, practice plans, like my eating plan, like, everything is just built in for you. So so you don't really have to make, you know, those big decisions in life. And then like, you know, that's kind of why I moved out to California, a big reason why. And because my cousin Courtney was out there, who I don't know if she's still on this, or she was on there before. Um, but yeah, like it, it, it was for me, I was just like clean slate, start over new, like try something else. Um, get away from the sport, because it was just, it was too hard for me to be around it. And I think you know, the more I talk to people about mm. like, how passionate they are, like the, you know, the people that, you know, play pro, they don't, you know, you hear these stories of players that really just don't know how to move on afterwards. And it's kind of the same old story. Um, and then people coming out of retirement, you know, because they're like, what else do I do? This is like in my blood. I know it's meant for me. And, right. you know, I, I believe I, you know, I, I believe it is in your blood. And it, you know, I, I think, I think that's where I am right now, able to kind of make like, get over that bridge of like, there is something else I can do, like really believing there's, there's more that I can do with this sport, like, as a coach mm. um, than I ever did as a player.